coastline is an environment that inspires me more than any other. Over the years, I have developed a very close relationship with the sea and the landscape that surrounds it. While this is the case, there are a few subjects at the coast that I am yet to properly explore photographically. In this video, I'm going to begin exploring one of these areas and share that journey with you all. One of the things that's always interested me about the coast is the geology that makes up this beautiful landscape. But it occurred to me recently that I've never actually stopped to properly photograph it. I've included rock formations in your stereotypical landscape shots, but I've never gone deeper into these rocks and looked more at their details within them and captured more of those abstract, intimate shots of each different part that makes up the beautiful coastline. And this rock behind me here is one that has fascinated me ever since I was a child. It's made up of a number of different types of rocks and the changes within it, it just fascinates me. There's so much to capture here. And today I'm beginning my mission to learn more about this rock, to capture its different textures and tones and to see what different types of images I can come up with. I decided to come down here this afternoon because I saw there was a break in the weather. It was very rainy the last few days and I thought it'd be nice to come down and really scout out this location properly. But obviously when it's rainy, it means the rocks are going to be wet. So today starting this project is going to be very difficult because it's incredibly wet out there and incredibly slippy. So I'm not going to, to go out there and explore this rock as I'd hoped to do today. But it gives me a good feel of what this rock looks like when it is wet. Because as you can imagine, when rocks or, or anything is wet, it looks very different when it's dry but when I was here in the summer these rocks were literally bone dry and you could see all of the tiny little textures and that within the mosses and lichens all of the cracks and crevices within the rocks looked so much more detailed and interesting to capture but it's interesting to see them when they are wet like this because it gives you a good sense of what sort of weather conditions you're wanting to shoot them in but as I say, today's not going to be safe enough for me to go out and properly start this project that I hope to, to do over the next few years of photographing the geology around the coastline and coming up with some different images of, of what this geology looks like and looking at the more abstract nature of the landscape. But what I am going to do is go to the other side of this big rock where it's more of a pebbly style beach and much safer when things are wet. And there's a few nice exposed areas there where the tide has retreated away from that it looks like it's got some good opportunities for some Shots. So I'm going to go and do that today and uh, come back and explore this beautiful expanse of rock on a much drier day, hopefully in the very near future. here is that big rock that I was just sitting on there and as you can see every angle you look at it it looks completely different the colors are different the shapes are different the textures are different and because of that I believe it's probably made up of more than one type of rock you can you did see in the back of the last bit there was that very dark rock that was further out to sea and then you've got much more lighter rocks here and it's just they're very different in, in nature but also when you come down to the bottom of it here this other nice sheltered side you've got this beautiful beautiful orangey yellow area and um, it's just stunning and this is what I'm going to try and capture today. I've seen some amazing shots of things like this um, from other photographers and it's always something I've wanted to try and shoot so I'm beginning today in the much safest place I can be just now given uh, the wet rocks and uh, trying to just start this this idea of looking more deeply at the rocks and trying to photograph them. Mindfulness is something that I love to do and this is a very mindful type of photography so yeah let's uh, get set up and, and see what I can capture. I'm telling you, this is not easy. It's 
you're working with this big environment that's quite chaotic in many ways, but you're trying to find that small bits of interest within everything that's going on. And you're up against everything. You know, you've got different shapes and patterns and textures within this rock. You've got a number of pebbles dotted around the place. You've, you sometimes think you find a good composition and then something makes its way into your frame. You've got a crack in the rock or a slightly distorted line or a bit of lichen or, or whatever growing on the rock that just makes the image look a little bit messy. I've not been doing it for very long. I've only been here well, about half an hour now, um, but I'm finding this really, really challenging. But I do like that because it means that this is going to be require a lot of concentration and really allow me to switch off and think deeply about what's going on around me. I have found one composition so far. I'm not 100% happy with it, but I noticed there was these three pebbles placed very beautifully side by side. Um, as, as many of you will know, odd numbers make for very interesting and appealing images. So I managed to find them with these beautiful textures around them in this rock. And then there's some cuts within the rock or lines, should I say, within the rock on above it, just beside it. So I've tried to line them up so that I've got the cuts in the top right of the image and the three pebbles in the bottom left of the image to give it a little bit of balance. It's not the most interesting image in the world, but it's showcasing the relationship between the pebbles and these massive pieces of rock that they've landed on. And I'm being very mindful as well not to photograph anything that I've placed in the frame. So everything you see me shooting today in this video was there when I got here exactly as, as I found it, which is really showcasing that relationship and the power of the sea and these beautiful sediments of, of pebbles and rocks that, that reside here and their relationship together. So yeah, here's image number one and hopefully I can find something a little bit more interesting as the afternoon progresses. shot here. Not sure if I'm happy with it, but I'm going to go with it because it's again got an interesting story about the relationship of this big rock with the pebbles. And within this rock we've got this lovely crevice here and there's been this cluster of pebbles that's fallen into this um, hole within the rock and it just formulates an interesting looking image. You've got this nice cut in the rock and a lot of textures and shapes and patterns within it. Again, I'm not blown away with this shot, I've got to say, but today's day one of this uh, sort of challenge and project that I want to do for myself. So it's about tuning my eye in to the geology around here and the shapes within it and trying to find compositions. I think with every type of photography, when you try it for the first time, it takes you a while to, to be able to see these things. And while I can see a lot of interest with my eyes, then going to um, compose that with a camera, it doesn't always look the way that I think it's going to. So um, yeah, I'll show you this image just now. It's, I think, a little bit more interesting than the, than the last one. And I think it's definitely got potential. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting to try this and see what I can discover. I just don't feel like the light is right at this side. Um, right now, golden hour is about to start. We can see some light being cast over there. And I'm actually on the wrong side for golden hour because the golden hour is happening right beside, behind these rocks here. So although there's no good geology over that side, there is some nice rocks and the beach and whatnot. So I feel like being here right now isn't the best place to be to make the most of the light and everything that we've got uh, this afternoon. And I think the best way to get good photographs is to work with the light. So I'm going to head around the other side, potentially not do any more geology shots today, um, but but see what, what Golden Hour has in store for us. And you never know, I might come away with something. Uh, there is one last shot actually I might take 
on this bit here I've just been exploring before I do head over there and make the most of this beautiful golden light that we've got starting. Mm. I was going to try and photograph these two little rocks here. Damn, I've just moved them there, I said I wasn't going to do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't going to work anyway, it's not quite as interesting when I actually get on top of it and look at it. So yeah, let's go and find that golden hour light, make the most of it. Only happens one hour a day, doesn't it? Or two, I suppose, if you count sunrise. Got to make the most of that. say to people to work with the light and right now the light is pretty spectacular we've got beautiful bits of orange hitting some of that rock formation that I wanted to shoot in this video but trying to compose it right now is proving to be very very difficult and actually the thing that's intriguing me is the way that the light is hitting the waves so as I said the best way to get good photographs is to work with the light so I think we're gonna have to potentially just say goodbye to these rocks right now and focus on something that I should be able to get a good image of that lovely spray with that golden light Let's head over there and see what I can capture. I ended up taking a few shots of this rock and the beautiful golden light on it. I didn't think any of the images were very good in camera, but when I got home, this image really spoke to me. man the light right now is absolutely spectacular just look at this you've got this stunning golden light this beautiful yellow just streaming through the landscape here these are the rock formations that I was on about earlier that I want to photograph up close and uh, although I want up close nice abstract subjects or photographs should I say of uh, these rocks it's always nice to get the usual Grand Vista style images too, isn't it? So that's exactly what I'm going to do just now. Incorporate some of this nice golden light uh, in the images and uh, probably put on a polarizer at the same time. See if I can uh, bring out some more of that color in the sky. But oh my gosh, this is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. whether to laugh or cry right now that light there was incredible you will have seen it on the video um, but I just didn't do it justice I don't think I have anyway I was trying to get really creative so, and try and incorporate these rocks that I'm wanting to try and photograph those abstract images of with that golden light on them but trying to find a composition was proving to be very difficult so I've come up onto the dunes and I was using the, the grasses here swaying in the breeze to try and create some motion some foreground and some interest in the shots I don't have my three stop ND filter with me so I put my ISO right down to as low as it would go um, even lower than um, ISO 64 my camera goes down to what's called um, ISO low 0.3 I uh, don't really know what that means um, kind of scientifically but that's as low as it goes um, I was trying to put it down to that and then I also put my F number up to F14 and then further up to F18 to try and help me increase my shutter speed to get that motion in the grasses because I thought it would just create something a little bit interesting a little bit um, creative and different to give me some foreground and to showcase the elements that breeziness that we've currently got here right now I hope you can hear me by the way because it's pretty windy at this side but including that the weather and how I could showcase the weather creatively against that beautiful light in the rocks but the compositions just aren't great of course I'm going to show you the images anyway but um yeah this is this is what I came up with and my thought process is behind them and who knows maybe when I get back to the computer they will have turned out better than, than I think they have. Fingers crossed that's the case. Well this afternoon 
Spain has been amazing in many respects. I can't actually tell you how much I've enjoyed being out here today. And that last hour or so, that gorgeous golden light was just incredible. And just to be out here and witness that, oh, just, it makes me so, so happy. I can't say the same about the photography today. It's not quite been as good as I would have hoped it would have been, but um, I gave it a go, started a new project. I hope it'll be another one that I'll enjoy doing over the next few years, really. Just connecting more deeply with the coast through its geology and abstract photography. Oh, what a view. And what an afternoon. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.